Good morning. And what a beautiful morning it is. <laughs> uh, no, it rained. It rained most of the night. And uh, it's going to rain. It's In a couple hours, it's going to start raining again. And then it's going to rain all afternoon. And uh, then it's going to stop for a few hours. And then it's going to rain tonight again. And then tomorrow again. <laughs> oh. And I'm telling you, I got to say... I was really hesitant about the tent. You know, I was thinking, oh no, I'll have to leave early because the tent's not going to hold up. And you know what? <laughs> the tent's doing great. We're doing fine. Um, in a couple of days, it's supposed to turn really, really cold though. And I'm not, I'm not sure I'm geared for for uh, sub-freezing temperatures. Uh, I'll give it a shot for one night and then I'll, I'll see how it is. If it's too much, then yeah, I won't I won't bother continuing. Gotta grab our food. Go and make a coffee. Gonna need some more water. Damn, I'm almost out of alcohol. I only got about three boils left. Good thing we're leaving tomorrow, huh? Look what I just found on the ground outside. These are the knives that are very popular on trail. <clears throat> the smallest Swiss Army knife you can buy. Okay, let's do the silly check. Make sure we got everything. Don't mind what's on the table. That's that's coming with us. Goodbye, beautiful campsite. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Really enjoyed it. Okay, so we got a big big day today. Definitely. I would, I'm guessing, I'm just guessing, but probably about 15 kilometers, which is about, what, 11 miles, I guess. We have to go by this dam. We won't get to see the dam because it's uh, actually off, point two off the trail, which was why it was nice to it was nice to see it yesterday on our zero. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a zero. Okay, we're back on the main trail. Seems like Blue Blaze strikes again. some really strange material here on the ground. I don't know what it is. No. Is this trail magic? Shut the front door. I'm almost scared to look. So what that sign was, was the wolf challenge or whatever it said. 
uh, they have apparently many of these um, challenges and these uh, because there's so many trails there's 37 different trails here it's a maze and uh, if anybody could get lost on them I can <laughs> but anyways so they do these challenges and so I ran into some people earlier that were uh, doing this challenge and what it is is they do a challenge they get a series of challenges for each month so you have a month to do them and they will involve you seeing every little bit of this trail now I don't know if they do this in the winter or not but anyway I just thought you'd want to know a little bit you know a little something about front knock trails that that uh, I found kind of cute actually Oh, okay, it's mica. This is known as the crab cake mine. Wow, cool. Sun's trying to peek through, trying, not succeeding, but trying. Just gonna stop here and get some water and have a drink. Take a break. Oh, look at what do we have here? A little turtle. You're so cute. What do you got on your back there? Oh, he's peeking out, look. He's peeking out. Hi, buddy. This reminds me so much of Connecticut on the Appalachian Trail. snakes garter snake you see him there he goes he's a big one
storms are coming in uh, now. They say at midnight. Everybody's got a picnic table, but this one. I might have to steal one. That one. I'll drag it over here and set up a tarp. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got to the campsite. Spent a couple hours doing not much except maybe just putting up this little tarp and hanging out. I had lunch, had some spaghetti. Well, that's my dinner too. It started raining, so I'm glad I had the tarp up. There's some nice little benches there. And there's a pad here for, for putting your tent. Privy's up the hill, it's brand new. And the bear box is up there too. This is called Devil Lake in Frontenac Park. It's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. If it was warmer, I could easily see swimming here. I mean, once you get past these leaves and stuff, it's fine. A lot of bugs there on the top though, right now. I look over there at that island and I feel like there's a canoe spot there somewhere. And over there on the point, I love canoeing. Maybe I should get a canoe and just come and see some of these. Ooh, and the sun's trying to peek out. So yeah, that's the end of the hiking day. Not the end of the camping day, but certainly the end of the hiking day. And I can't believe that sun's trying to peek out. That is too cool. So what did I think of today's hike? Um, oh, I really enjoyed today's hike. I did. There was uh, quite a bit of elevation. Yeah, there was, it was, it was great. I really, really enjoyed it today. I did it in record time, which tells you I did enjoy it because if I don't like the trail, the hike, I kind of tend to mosey about and you know, like just screw around. But no, I, I really enjoyed it. So that's what I thought of the hike. There wasn't much to say. We got, we got to see that mine, that mica mine, which was nice. Uh, I met a couple of people, that was nice. I got enough wood to get a fire going here, but I'm not sure I should because there's not, it's only enough to get it started, but not going for any length of time. There's only kindling here, but I'll see. I'll see what I can go scrounge up. All right, look at all my junk here. <laughs> I haven't set up my tent yet. My tent sets up over here on this pad, but I haven't, I haven't set it up. So I'll start doing that now. Okay, everybody, I've lost the light and this is the best I can get for, uh, for exposure. Um, I'm all set up. Met a couple real nice uh, guys over here. Spent some time talking with them and uh, it's Hiker Midnight. So I'm going to call it. Thanks for coming.